Welcome to the fourth Zoo Strikers devlog, an online 3D platformer shooter game. Over the past devlogs, we've made new effects and a new character. We created a whole new hub world. And we even completely remade the gun. We've gotten so much done in just two months, we're already preparing for a beta. So when will this beta begin? That's what we're here to find out. It's another week of development, and we finally get to do something I've wanted to do since the beginning. But first, I have a surprise. Hey. The new animal guns have got an upgrade. All new reloading animations to fit their personalities. And if that wasn't enough, they also have new rolling animations and bullet trails. Some of you eagle-eyed viewers may have noticed in the last devlog, these animations were a bit weird, and that's because they weren't done, and now they're looking a whole lot better. So what was the thing that I wanted to do? Well, let me introduce you to Nikki. She is an NPC in the hub and is a pro player in the Zoo Strikers sports games. She will give you tips and advice, be in the tutorial level telling players how to play, and overall, just watch over the players. This was one of the first characters that Alex concepted, and I've been wanting to make ever since. While we're on the subject, Alex has been working like crazy. And just check out these awesome character concepts for the hub. These two are some hilarious lifeguards. This guy's Narsileo. And you can just tell he's going to be too preoccupied looking at himself to be helping any swimmers. On the other hand, this is Pumalu. I love this design. She's a sloth, so she'll be running around the beach trying to help people, but she's going to be running in slow motion, so I don't know if she's going to be able to save anybody in time. Alex's characters always have so much thought put into them, I can't wait to show off more. We're back in the first Gun Games map, and it seems things are about to change. This map has always looked pretty good, but I left it unfinished until I did the hub. And now that that's done, I spent a few days finishing the map. Check it out. Lots more flowers and bushes added, whole new ads in the stands, and sailboats. Now what are those weird ring things? Just part of the digital projections from the sports. I actually took those from the old tutorial level that's now been trashed. Also, there's even more new effects. Some digital cube particles are floating around and even come from the player when you roll. So even though I said that this is finished, technically there are two things left. The stands obviously need an audience, so that'll be easy enough once more NPCs are made. And in the distance, there's gotta be islands. But I think it would be cool if there are like the hub and other playable maps. So that'll be cool to add in once we get more maps. In the first devlog, we saw the creation of an NPC. But this time, we're going to go in depth on the process of making Nikki. I started with a quick block out of the shapes just to make sure everything was right. And then I sent a screenshot to Alex and he helped tell me what proportions to change. And now we have this, which will save us a lot of time. No need for a high poly sculpt. We can just get right into modeling over top of this. And just like that, we got a nice model. Blocking out the shapes was super helpful. Next up, I usually UV unwrap and texture, which is the fun part because we finally get to see everything come together. As you can see, we got some textures in here, just like the plain shapes, no details or shading yet. It's good to make sure everything looks like the concept art and all the UVs line up. So now, finally, I can detail the textures. And really, I don't even mean a ton of details. If you look, here is the finished texture, not a lot of shading required. On things like the goggles, it's good to do some highlights on the edges. If we take a quick look at the lizard gun's textures, you can see most of the detail is just highlights. Now back to the other texture. There's a few shaded parts, like the neck and bottom of the arms. These parts I always want to be a little bit darker than the rest. And then over here, there's just a lot of open space for all kinds of different eye expressions, like in the concept art. And that's the gist of texturing for Zoo Strikers. Now we just gotta make the rig and animate her. 
While Mick Mick is working on that, it's time to finally dive into a very important part of the game, the menus. So the menus are something I've always wanted to show, but just haven't had the time. These were made before the devlogs even started, so let's press pause. The theme for these menus is very much inspired by the digital world parts of the Digimon movie. It's got all these cool models floating around, and every button takes you to a different colored menu. It was very important to not just make the menus like your usual online modern games. And a lot of games in the GameCube and Wii era were doing awesome and creative menus exploring all kinds of 3D spaces. So once again, I'm kind of trying to incorporate that GameCube era feel. Nikki is complete, and it's time to see how well she looks in game. Here she is, and honestly, this is the best character in the game so far. The pose, the proportions, the shading, everything just looks so close to the concept art. And wait, what is that up there? I've been meaning to add in seagulls, cause of course you need seagulls if you're gonna be at the beach. They were real easy to make. A simple low poly model with a custom shader graph material to make the wings flap. And then I followed this tutorial, which will be linked down below, to figure out their flight patterns. Now the hub is already kind of coming alive, and it's time we talk about the beta and future plans. <laughs> Now I want to address some comments, we've been getting a few repeats, and instead of having to reply to them all individually, I thought we'd do it all right here. First off, will there be customization? Yes, you can change your animal species and their clothes. Hats, shirts, pants, and shoes are all customizable options. And later on, we'll probably add different skins for your animal guns. Are there melee weapons or melee moves? Yes. There's a punch move that acts similar to the knifing in CSGO and melee in Halo, and there will be melee weapons like the gravity hammer. Are there going to be facial animations? Yes, the animals all have open space on their textures for when I do the facial animations. Will there be different map types like jungles or deserts? Yep. Will there be more guns? Yep. And this one I've gotten a lot. The characters are stiff. Yeah, and we'll just have to deal with it for now. If I were to reanimate all the player characters right now, it probably wouldn't be that much better, so we can tackle that after all the NPCs are in and animated. For now, what you see is what you get. That's just some of the common questions I've gotten. You guys have been giving great tips and ideas and have been really helping shape the game, so please keep it up. On to the beta talk, what we've all been waiting for. You may have noticed we didn't cover a lot of the stuff required for the beta. That's all being saved for the next devlog, which will be a big one. And I can confirm here that the next devlog will announce the times for our very first closed beta test. <laughs> 